Hi there, it's Sam from pootles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. And thank you very much for joining me in Envelope Punch Board Week. This is our week-long video fest that is all about um, only using the Envelope Punch Board for your projects. Seven different projects are going to be coming out um, on YouTube and there are five further videos that you can get via my blog. And this time, this is the mini open basket. This is what I'm calling it anyway. Um, because it looks like a basket and it's mini and it's adorable. So this one is using the real red polka dot parade paper. I'm going to do a different version using the old olive polka dot parade paper and it measures six by six inches or 15 by 15 centimeters so you're going to get four from one sheet of paper. All you need, envelope punch board, that's it. I won't give you um, imperial measurements, uh, sorry, metric measurements, all you're looking for is the number that I'm talking about across the top. Um, all envelope punch boards, no matter where in the world you buy them from, will all predominantly have these numbers across the top. So that's what you're looking for. So with your piece of cardstock, slide it in so your paper lines up to one and a half. Punch and score, and then you turn it and you line it up to two and a half. Punch and score, turn it back and do one and a half. Sorry, turn it round and do one and a half and score down. And then turn it for the fourth time, line it up to two and a half, punch and score down. And now, if you can see these score lines, all we're going to do is we're going to join up these lines. There you go, you can see them better that way. What we're going to do is we're just going to join these lines. So I'm going to pop it back so I can see. And I can see that I've got a score line going here that lines up to this mark here. So I'm going to punch and score and I'm going to turn it around again and I've got a, a score line that's running all the way up here. Line it up, punch and score down and then I've got one more that is here. Punch, score down and then a fourth one, line this up, punch and score. So if I turn it back to that way, you can see this sort of grid pattern I've made. So I want to round the corners now. So I'm just going to pop it into here. And just round all four of the corners. <clears throat> going to lose my voice as well. I've been doing a lot of chatting today while filming. And then fold on all of the score lines. I'm going to fold all of them up. Because it's paper, just be a little bit gentle with it. You know, don't don't push too hard. Your fingers are enough to manipulate it. So fold on all of those. I want to punch the hole in the top. I've completely forgotten to get my punch out, so excuse me a second while I reach across. And the best way to do that, to, to get it positioned, is you get a piece of scrap card stock and you hold it, maybe maybe rub a little glue dot or a tiny little bit of snail on the back just to keep it in position. Line it up where you want it to go and that's your sort of mini template and you come round and you punch over the top. So that's one done. Oh, that's a slightly bigger circle than the one I did the other day. Did for this one. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. And then the same little template over on the opposite side. And punch that out. So that's your holes for your handle punched out. <coughs> Excuse me. Now it's just a case of building up the box. So these score lines, I'm going to leave it this way up so you can see it as well. These score lines here that are either side of the holes. Snip down those. And then that's the cutting done. And now these outer ones, I want to fold those in. I could have had them so they were going out and it was opposing. I didn't like that end result. So I just wanted this to be the little white spot showing out. So fold those in. Now we need to fold these all in so they come inside. So I found that the easiest thing to do, turn it over and just work in the corners. And then it's all these little corners here. 
and just fold them just pop your snail on and then you just build up the box so that'll be my phone ringing in the background but I will ignore it for a minute and then fold these up And that is most of the box made. I'm going to tie it in a second. I want to do a little bit of stamping. So I've got the round array. This stamp set just lent itself beautifully to this project. I want the You Make Me Smile. So I'm going to mount it up on my clear block. And I've got obviously matching old olive ink because that would match. I did the real red to match that one. And I'm going to match the old olive this time. And this perfectly fits the seven eighths of an inch scallop circle. So I'm going to pop one of those out. And I've got a scrap of old olive, so I'm going to take the one inch circle, pop those up on dimensionals. So one on the back there. one on the back of that, pop it on the front and then it's just a case of tying up now. So I've got the one eighth of an inch old olive taffeta ribbon, tie it through there. Oops. I will do my very best to try and tie a bow. Probably going to be all fingers and thumbs now. There we go. And a little bow. And that is my open basket. All done um, with a slightly bigger hole for the handle. It doesn't make a difference really but it's quite a pretty sweet little project. I hope you like it. Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget, I will put all of the links to this project, to um, the whole of Envelope Punchboard Week, and also the link to the five other videos that you can access via my blog. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.